Kitchen has already drawn rave reviews over the years, making it a rough night for opponents whenever the fight hits the map. But he's taking it to a new level, as he has forced each opponent during his recent winning streak to tap out before the final war. So as this young fighter makes the walk here tonight, you know his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent down? Because once I get him to the mat, I know I can keep him there. Joe, this guy has a top game as scary as anybody in the game. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, it's a great source of confidence. He'll use the body weight to keep you down and prevent any sort of hip escapes because his hips are so strong. Physical freak who will sap your willpower and your gas tank with the best of them. This guy has world-class choking techniques in all varieties, be it guillotine, choke, rear naked, Dars, anaconda. If this guy gets a hold of your neck, you've got problems. Let's go out there and play guard with him. between Israel Adesanya and the Hall of Famer, Hoist Gracie. All right, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is as accomplished a submission specialist as we've seen cross into the UFC in years. And other than the Damian Maya types, most guys just aren't used to facing opponents at this level. You gotta think he'll be trying to get this fight to the canvas early so he can work to set up a submission. This next guy has incredible takedowns. Both timing, speed, and of course, technique are literally top of the food chain. Is as creative a striker as there is on this roster top to bottom he is new zealand's israel adesanya the last style banner still on the right side of 30 and he has shown a lot of different looks on the feet that figure to give fellow middleweights problems switches stances constantly a master of footwork a lot of kickboxing experience in his prior combat sports life and now as he tries to mix all the martial arts together the question is just how far can Israel Adesanya take it? We'll certainly get some answers in this matchup tonight. This guy has some of the best defense I've ever seen inside the octagon, and they say that defense is the best offense. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, only a professional record of eight wins, no losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Horace Racing. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record out. 16 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last of Adesanya! And 
And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavigne. The veteran Eve Lavigne draws the assignment here. You ready? Well, good to be back in Rio as we get underway here at the Jeunesse Arena, right in the heart of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. All right, so we get another look at Israel Adesanya here tonight. Let's see if he can get off to a fast start. He's not a guy that forces the finish. He will tell you as much that he likes to feel things out a little bit early on. He knows his opponent's going to come shooting at the... Oh! These are some bombs he is throwing. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Big knee to the body! Nice knees, though. He really turns those over nicely. Oh, another knee right to the midsection. Big knee right there. Oh, big knee! He's rocked! Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Nasty combinations here. Oh! Huge shot there, lands flush! Body kick now by Grayson. How about that shin? There's the kick, it's blocked. Ooh, yeah, these are, what did you say about my mother there. punches? Oh, he's going for it here. Oh, very nice. Slipped him with the jab. Oh man, defensively leaving a big oh. kick to the head. He is stunned. He's got him hurt here. Look at this. Take down. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. He's got full guard. Oh, and he's got a submission locked up. Under three minutes. He popped out of the submission. Moves in a half guard here. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Adesanya. Gracie, ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Beautifully executed sweep. Gracie gets back up. Clean left punch followed by the right. Well, how about this approach here tonight? Technical striker, and he has gone mad. Very accurate, but really just an all-out aggressive approach that we haven't seen from him in the past. Oh, head kick blocked by Adesanya. Nice punch there by Grace. Beautiful yeah, combination. Oh, oh, he, tagged him. Him. he tagged him. He is hurt badly. Do something. He's just hanging on here right now. Oh, nice kick. Big elbow from the clinch there. Another nice knee. Elbow by Gracie. Another hard elbow. And he goes to the knee strike now, Joe. It's good. And again, keeping that knee on the midsection. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Neither guy doing much at this point. And he goes to the knee to the body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and he connects there. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Good shot. He's taking some shots now. And both guys really throwing with authority. In half guard. Oh, elbow to the head. Now he's in guard. Look at that, he's got it locked up. He's got the leg over the shoulder. Now, he's gonna pull down on his shin. He's gonna throw that leg over. He's got that. Throw that leg down. This could be it right here. And there it is. Round was almost 
crossed over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he was going to stop at nothing to leave the judges out of this one here tonight. He was focused on getting the win and getting it by submission. And you saw him in hot pursuit of it much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. Then there was an opening there late, largely caused by a beautiful setup, and the submission comes late in the round. High-level stuff there. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 52 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by top out due to a triangle choke, Royce. Racing. Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned, all about the celebration, and it is on in the corner. Olivi, and this is your UFC Minute. As the fighter's wins begin to add up, the pressure to maintain momentum becomes a major factor. The jiu-jitsu game of this UFC sensation has already drawn rave reviews over the years, making it a rough night for opponents whenever the fight hits the mat. But he's taking it to a new level, as he has forced each opponent during his recent winning streak to tap out before the final horn. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Paolo Costa and the Hall of Famer, Hoist Gracie. All right, so as this young fighter makes the walk here tonight, you know his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent down? Because once I get him to the mat, I know I can keep him there. Joe, this guy has a top game as scary as anybody in the game. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, it's a great source of confidence. He'll use the body weight to keep you down and prevent any sort of hip escapes because his hips are so strong. Physical freak who will sap your willpower and your gas tank with the best of them. 
This guy has world-class choking techniques in all varieties, be it guillotine, choke, rear naked, Dars, anaconda. If this guy gets a hold of your neck, you've got problems. Well, when you talk to Brazilian fight fans, they really believe that Paulo Costa has the chance to become a future UFC champion. And it might happen sooner rather than later. This is a man who has some physical gifts that match up well with all of this division's elite. He has asked for big fights. He has gotten those matchups. And more often than not, he has emerged with his hand raised and his chin intact. We get another look at the very impressive Paulo Costa here tonight. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do is utilize his footwork, his takedown defense, and land hard strikes to get the victory. Our tail of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and some differences in reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Horse racing. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Kickboxer, holding professional record of 13 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, her team. Ready to fight? Ready. Well, what a venue this is for MMA. We are underway right here at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. All right, here we go with round one. All eyes, of course, are with this man in the corner. He has won his last three fights by way of submission. His confidence is soaring, as is his popularity. And if he can extend the winning streak tonight, and even do so by submission, perhaps his next fight would not even be a title eliminated, but might be for the UFC title. Round one underway. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. All right, here we go, ready to go. Oh! Vicious punch combinations here. Gracie's worked in that underhook now. You control this. Back to over under. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Costa. He's got the double. And they separate. Back and forth we go. How about that chin? Oh, uppercut lands, and he leaned right into that one, Joe. Left the head wide open there for the taking. Let's see if now that wakes him up a little bit, and he learns to get those hands up. Big shot left with the there. left. Very nice. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Nice takedown. Just over three minutes to go now. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Oh, and now an elbow up top by Grayson. He gets his back. Under three minutes to go in round. Oh, we caught him with that right hand. Back to the mount again. Oh, lands the elbow there from top position. Surprised that one didn't open him up. Costa gets cracked by another elbow, and you see the corner is not happy here. He's got to find a way to do a better job defensively. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He throws the right hand there. He's taking some big shots on the bottom. 
Oh, a massive elbow from the top. Just over two minutes now to go. And they're down on the ground. Inside the guard, right away. Gracie gets caught with that punch. Big shots being landed from the top in half guard. Oh, elbow to the head there by Gracie. He got tagged there. There's another elbow. Wow! That'll do it! Oh! Ground and pound knockout. Yeah, Joe, the finish comes courtesy of some outstanding ground and pound. And it's one thing to try to score when you have your opponent in a compromised position on the ground. It's another thing to try to end the fight. And that's exactly what he was trying to do here tonight. Elbows and punches and hammer fists, one weapon after the next. And ultimately, the knockout materializes. Nicely done there. And let's see if we can get a better look at that from another angle. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 16 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Boyce. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight. So the decorated submission specialist has arrived on the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. And even at the UFC level, not a lot of guys are used to facing submission opponents at this level. Gotta think, path of least resistance is to take the fight to the ground and look to set up some of those patented chokes. Good to see a Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner of this caliber where he belongs in the big show. This guy has world-class choking techniques in all varieties, be it guillotine, choke, rear naked, darse, anaconda. If this guy gets a hold of your neck, you've got problems.
Well, if you want to tip this particular fighter is on the wrong end of the power equation, I'll give you that. But few guys can match his speed and his footwork. Prevailing wisdom is he'll try to fight on the outside tonight, stick and move a little bit, exceptionally quick on his feet, sets up angles beautifully, manages distance as good as anybody on the roster, knows how to set up his attacks, knows how to stay of his opponent's range, figures to be a big part of the strategy tonight, given the power that's coming back. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected. Shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Horse Racing. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Elias the Spartan, the Encore! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. So Mario Yamasaki, the veteran, draws go, the opening you assignment ready? here. You ready? Let's go. All right, here we go. Theodore, the self-proclaimed cardio king, sets a really good pace and is able to keep it. Staying busy now. A lot of these punches are landing. Got to play better defense than that. All right, first round is underway, and you know what to look out for here. The powerful overhand punches. That is a big part of his game plan. Every time he makes this walk, it is his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it early tonight. Looking to secure a choke. It looks like he's got the anaconda choke. I believe he's in all kinds of trouble now. This choke is getting very tight. He might have to tap any second now. That's it! And there it is. Great job, didn't waste any time, took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Yeah, Joe, that was quick, but can't say that we're all that surprised with this result here tonight. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He efficient, knew he wanted to get this fight to the ground and let his submission skills take over. Outstanding effort, even better technique here tonight. And look how tight this choke is. There is no escape here, and the only option is to tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at 47 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Voice. So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers. And they're not going to keep unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission. And now all that's left is to celebrate with his coaches and training partners. What a moment for this oncoming fighter here tonight.